wanna strike me Even if you did, they ain't never quite like me That ain't like me, that ain't really like me I be What is going on, man? It's your boy Tyler Rose Welcome back to the channel, man Um, Today's video, we got something real cool for y'all, man As y'all see, I'm in the crib chilling right now About to go clean the car We gonna talk about how to afford a scat pack If you wanna get a scat pack Maybe if you're interested in it And you don't know how much you might have to cop up I'm going to help y'all get a little bit into tune with that. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere, man. Let's run the intro, and we're going to get into the car starting up. You know you know how we do it. Scat Fact T-Rose. We out here. Let's do it. All right, so this rule is like an unwritten rule, bro. When you're cleaning your car, what you need to do is keep you a pair of shoes in the car. All right, me, I got some Air Ones on. You know, these are, these are vintage 2007 Air Force One shit. I do not want to mess them up. So one rule number one is bring yourself a pair of shoes that you don't really care about. Because you don't want to mess up your car, man. I'm sorry. You don't want to mess up your shoes, not your car. You don't want to mess up your car neither, but you don't want damn sure you don't want to mess up your shoes. You know Walmart, my favorite place. If y'all don't know, Walmart is my favorite place to go. I love going to Walmart. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get some cleaning supplies for the car. I got like some stuff in the trunk from you know previous cars, but you know, this car is a little bit better than my older car, so I wanna make sure I'm putting the right materials on this car. You feel what I'm saying? And then uh, yeah, we are gonna do that. So uh, right now we're gonna go inside Walmart, and then we are gonna do what we do, you know? Tyler Rose TV, man. It's got Pack T Rose, man. Let's get it. We got a lifetime worth of detailing products. All right, so. And stuff. Show y'all what I got. Boom. Get you a dipping wash tool. Connect this to here. And you get you scrub a dub dub in a double whoop tub. You feel me? <laughs> Boom. The best guys in town. Chemical guys. This is not sponsored. This is not sponsored, but these are the best. They make the best stuff. This is a wash and gloss. This is a wipe for the inside of my car, like my dashboard and my shifter. And this is the tire shine. It comes with uh, some microfiber towels and it's a microfiber applicator. Microfiber, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Microfiber applicator. Whatever. Okay. Got this too. This is like a, a big six square foot towel for drying. Like when you have mad water on your car, you want to like get the excess water off with this. So like that. Some air freshness for me and my girl. He copied me. She picked it out. It smelled good. She didn't know you could scratch and sniff. I was like, you can scratch and sniff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, you can't scratch and sniff. <laughs> oh, so also let me show you what I got in the trunk. So come here though. Look at this. Look how dirty this is. This is why I need to clean it. How dirty this is. It's dirt. Oh, dirt, yeah, dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty. Mostly the back. So I already have one to dry off it, but this is an old one. It's dirty and I need to wash it. I'm gonna keep it still. And I had a hand wash towel from my old car. Need to, need to clean it too. You put your hand in it like this. What the hell is this in it? Oh never mind. Is that soft? Put, you put no you good. Just put your hand in it like this. Feel me? Alright. Then this is some old cheap wash I got. I got a better one. This time with the chemical guys. Um uh, this is some this is just some stuff that I had though. Like I had this stuff. You know. However, it's good to have the good stuff. And like I say, always y'all bring an extra pair of shoes. This will save you, depending on how much time you wash your car a month. Let's say you wash your car three times a month, right? For a good detailing inside and out, you're probably paying at least a hundred dollars. If you're just doing it outside, you're probably paying at least forty, fifty dollars. So if you are doing it yourself, and you're saving yourself at least two, three hundred dollars a month. 
maybe you can afford a scat pack. Maybe you're just that off of it. But like I said, I'm going to tell y'all exactly how much I'm paying for my car insurance too. Um, so if you're looking to get a scat pack, you understand these cars are heavily stolen. The Charger, Challenger, Scat Pack, Hellcat, RT, whatever. They're heavily stolen because these cars are great. They're fast. They're exciting. People want them. So insurance is going to be high. And the simple fact that if you're young, me, I'm turning 27 next month, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm getting close to that age where insurance companies aren't raping me for prices. But if you're young, if you're like 20, 21, you're gonna be paying more than me. So right now I'm paying like 550 for mine, for car insurance, which is a lot. I live in the state of Florida, so these people can't drive out here. Also, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that your insurance could be higher because you just might be young, man. Sometimes you young, and you gotta figure it out on your own. You may have to uh, put it on your dad or your mom's name, and then you pay for the car, they put it on their credit, that way you save money, but I'm paying like 550 for car insurance, and um, that's with a clean driver record, no speeding tickets and nothing. So that gives you a little bit of a ballpark range if you live in the South, of how much you might be paying for your scat pack. Um, you can't afford it, but like I said, these are steps, you know, $500, not crazy. People will pay a lot more, but like I said, these are some steps to save you some money. But right now, man, I'm not gonna talk your ear off. I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all a little bit how much I'm paying. I told y'all, now let's go wash the car, man. And let me start it up right now, man. My favorite part of the video, boy. Sorry, I know it's not working. <laughs> we need to get the new batteries. There you go, I had a point in that, that's all. Wasn't it loud because I just drove it, it's not a cold start. First time was a cold start, but let me stop talking. Let's go wash the cars and let's go, man. Let's go. Alright, so I'm actually tight because I just got to the car wash, but at Walmart, I bought microfiber towels and they matched the car. They were lime green or like whatever, electric green, whatever you want to call this. No, I went to the security and they said that they seen me walk out with it. Then I checked the vlog footage. I walked out with the towels, bro. I don't know. Like what happened to him? I, but from the looks of the video, the towels are about to fall out. So I think I think that's what happened. But see, I'm here now. Um, my advice would be not to use the, the like the washes. Like don't use the um, what's it called? Don't, don't use the, the brushes that are uh, here when you're washing your car because sometimes the brushes have the brushes can mess up your paint, scratch your paint up. And if you got a car that you like, you don't want to scratch the paint, man. You want to get you want to get suds out, you know. You want to get a good good cleaning, man. You know what I'm saying? Why pay why pay them when you can do it yourself? 